and applied to Northwestern as early decision and I got deferred. And when I got deferred, that was my dream school, my first top, like my first choice. But um, after being deferred, I learned about NYU, ended up liking that school more than Northwestern. And I got into NYU and is now attending there. Um, we're trying to talk about where I went for the regular decision, going to list all the schools or? Um, oh, okay. That's okay. Um, that's okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. We also had uh, Marissa and Noah actually mm -hmm. um, just quickly walk through kind of um, emotional um, management of being deferred. Mm -hmm. And if you have anything to share on that front, um, that would be great as well. So actually when I got deferred, um, I got deferred in front of all my friends. It was kind of like a public thing because I uh, we all just didn't know because every, um, it was like five different like friends and they all got it, all the four got it, and I was the only one getting the third. And I was like, I literally cry in front of all of them. <laughs> that was a really sad experience. Um, but actually my dad, no, not my dad, my sister said she also got the third before. So she just kind of like walked me through this experience because I was like, because I just couldn't imagine myself getting the third. But she just, she just kind of walked me through. She's like, it's fine, it's not the end of the world. Every college that you go to, you'll be able to make it to a good school. She's like, don't worry about it. And actually, now that I'm, now I'm kind of thankful for getting deferred because I ended up liking NYU a lot. So I think it gives you another chance to just kind of like, because when you like one school, you're so focused, but it helps you to get to another place and like think about it. You know what I mean? To see other options that are available to you. I think that's a that's a great point. Um, I don't that may not be the case for some of you, but um, mm -hmm. for uh, for me, I know I was interested in um, in Harvard, and that was my one and only school. And so my entire basically uh, process of researching schools and of um, working on my application was strictly geared toward Harvard. And so I spent uh, like the entire time um every single basically fiber of my being was i'm applying to harvard and um that's where i'm going so uh i do i agree sometimes being deferred it gives you that additional opportunity to just like step back and say like, all right this entire time the past several months i've been focused on one school this is my opportunity to actually maybe find out about a few other schools and really tailor my regular decision applications to particular schools um, in a way that you might not have done had you um, had you had sort of uh, had this complacency, if that makes sense. Um,